when I got into SAB, I started freaking out, started doubting whether I was making the right decision. I didn't have that foundation of being in the lower levels. Better, but it's not good enough. Get the tool back. People see dancing as this simple art where people just go up and, you know, they turn on their toes. But you can fall over and make the ugliest face in football. If we do a pirouette and we have our tongue out, we're going to be in the front of the New York Times. Lower, 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 low, Alec Moore. Right on the melody. Ready, everyone? No? Who doesn't know it? So we'll go through it with you guys. I was so nervous about coming to SAB. I think the most challenging thing for me has been trying to pick up the particular technique that the teachers ask for here. Obviously, the aesthetic of Balanchine is so important at this school. Coming to SAB in advance meant I didn't have that foundation of being in the lower levels. So Alec, are you excited to learn the Nutcracker partnering tomorrow? I'm nervous. I mean, I don't know George Balanchine's choreography, and I'm hoping Jock gives me some time to learn it. And I mean, apparently he's just kind of like, expect us yeah. to do it, so. We all know it already. Flying shoulder sits. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> like my biggest fear in the world. <laughs> like Jock would be like, you should be able to do this one handed, and Darcy's like, you shouldn't even have to use any hands. <laughs> right on the melody. Ready, everyone? And... Walk with her. Yeah, but she, you can't, you can't walk with her like you're carrying a suitcase. You're doing this. She has to do this. She's so much prettier than a suitcase. Corrections at SAB are very personal. So it's really great when a teacher gives you a correction because you can tell that it's just for you and it's something that they've noticed that you're doing. These are world-class dancers and you have them in the studio every day. So you want to give them something back. I'm matching her arms. Eh. Pose. Step through pose. But it's not ta 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 ta. The minute you pose, the movement is over. It's gone. And uh, Alec, you just did ponche. Do ponche for us. Go ahead, lean on him. Now do the next pose. The Sugar Plum Fairy, it's the grand pas de deux. It's very intricate and very difficult at the same time. There, go on. Balanchine choreographed it specifically for a special movement, and it's really hard. Get next to her. There. You can tell the boys that get it faster than some others, and then some just have to really work on it. It's yes. sliding and pointing the leg. It's never... It. Even more. Yeah, those long now legs, more yeah. back. And now more and reach. forward, That's and it. more, yeah, there you go. It's also such a beautiful mo yeah. moment. You've seen all of this, da 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 right? <laughs> and, and then, then all of a comes. sudden, you just float in. It's just beautiful, it's like the sun, right, just coming in. It like still catches me, like off guard, looking over there and just seeing all the buildings. Because then you realize that we're here. Yeah, I'm so used to seeing like just trees and like... Yeah, what is Australia like? It's not New York, that's for sure. It was always a dream of mine to come to New York City and to experience American culture because I was pretty much raised up on American TV and in Australia. The movie cinemas, all, all they show is American movies. I remember when you came and auditioned. In February. Yeah. I was not ready for that. And I was like, oh my gosh, I have to go talk to him. That was the scariest situation in my whole life. You didn't even know you were auditioning? No, it was like, a <laughs> I was just came for like a class and then that turned into an audition and then... I was so excited to come until a week before I started freaking out. I started coming to terms with the fact that I would be living 22 hours on a plane away from my mom and dad. I started doubting whether I was making the right decision. Yes. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Coming from another culture and coming from another country, it was different coming here and having to explain a whole different culture that no one had even heard of. Yeah. <laughs> Just put like a little finger in. How much money do I get for this? Is Vegemite good for you? Well, it's like really salty, but a little bit more. Come on. No, don't. No, please. This is your one time to try it. I can smell that. That's like. <laughs> Michael's about to be sick. Ew, he ate it. It's not that bad. Uh, no, we have a natural Vegemite like her. Maybe you're Australian.
I can't like figure out the people who are like, yeah, I woke up one day and yeah, I was I like, I to do ballet. ballet was what I wanted yeah. to do. Eight years ago, I was playing football. <laughs> yeah. Growing up, ballet was never the dance style that I wanted to pursue. It was always jazz and it was tap and Broadway and a little bit of hip hop. And once I discovered Balanchine and SAB, it definitely changed. I was 13 when I started ballet. So you've only been doing like ballet for four years. Like, I've been working on this puppy for a whole eight years and it's still busted. <laughs> ballet is not what every boy does, but I never understood why they were bullying me about ballet because they wanted to go to football practice that night. I just wanted to go to ballet. One, two, and... I think people see dancing as this simple art where people just go up and you know they turn on their toes and fluttering around. But if they came behind the curtain, I think they would be surprised how hard ballet actually is. Get the toe back. It's one of the hardest things to be able to do what you do and then add an audience of thousands of people and then add the fact that you're not actually allowed to show how hard it is. And then you finish. You can fall over and make the ugliest face in football, but as long as you score that goal, then that's all that matters. If we do a pirouette and we have our tongue out and our eyes cross-eyed, then we're going to be on the front of the New York Times. The ballet here is so demanding that if we don't take a break, we'll crack. <laughs> Anyone who works this hard at one thing, almost obsessively, you need time to breathe and relax. Yes! yes! I need bumpers. Chicken quesadilla cone. Oh, yes. 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 Dancers eat a lot. For dessert, can we get all of them? Dancers are athletes. If you don't eat, you can't dance. Oh. Yes! Victory! Guys, we have a dance to celebrate our victory. <laughs> that one is so cute. One of the things about coming to SAB is that I fell in love with New York City Ballet and that became the head of where I want to go. And one, and one. Better, but it's not good enough. Where are you from? Australia. Australia. I bet they don't teach like that, do they? No. Nope. That's why you're here? One. But I'm just trying to remind myself to be prepared for everything, and even if City Ballet doesn't work out, I know that with the training that I'm given here, I'll be able to achieve great things regardless of what happens. Some people develop rapidly and grow through the ranks and becomes a principal dancer within three or four years. Others take much longer. competition in ballet, it's the nature of ballet. It's more of a competition within yourself to make you strive for the better. Lift. 95% of the dancers in New York City Ballet come from the School of American Ballet. So since Peter Martins runs New York City Ballet, at the end of the year, he's gonna choose a few apprentices that he wants for his company. It's her fault, usually the boy's fault. It's Every dancer has to have a plan B because you never know. You never know if there's an injury. You never know if once you're in the professional world, it wasn't what you expected.